walking and praying is a powerful. And really I understand more and more every day in I walking and praying and interceding and walk in the spirit. And you know, I proclaim in the light. I proclaim the supernatural light. Light, light upon the people in Israel. Light upon the land of Israel. Light upon the government of Israel. Oh, light, light. You say, Lord, in Matthew chapter 5, 14 to 16 is so powerful. Let your light shine before others that they may see your goodness and good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. It's powerful, significant. We need to shine our lights in such a way that people see God in Yeshua, the Messiah, in us. You are the light of the world. In this life, we have two choices. Remember this. We can early be part of darkness and be part of this or light. Shine and be different. This world is dying for light. People are desperately seeking for hope. We need to not just more sermons in our churches on being light of the world, but we need more living example as well. We are calling to be the believers, the followers of Messiah, not just to attend the church, my brethren, service once in a week or twice. We are to do work and that is not to become our simple, and cold, but be the light to those around us. We are the light of the world. It's too easy to just conform to this world. Just go with the flow and simply live a life with less resistance and stay within our comfort zone. But we are the believers in Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. We are supposed to be different We are to be the light. I hope you understand what I'm meaning. We are the light in Hebrew, Or Chaim, or Or Olam, the light of the world, a light of life. Which lead us to the question, how can we produce the light? In John chapter 8, 12, very clear say, that Yeshua, Jesus Christ, spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. And he who follow me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Oh, hallelujah. This verse tells us that in order for us to produce the light, we must follow the light of the world. Light of the world. We need to follow the Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, his teaching and examples. We literally must be like God in our thinking words and at actions, as John the baptizer say, Jesus Christ increase and must be decreased. And I must to be decreased. He must to be increased and I must to be decreased. Therefore, the closer we go to the source of light, the brighter our light. The opposite is true. If we stay away from God or Christ, Messiah, that our light gets dimmer and dimmer until we lose the light God give us. What we lose, we lose the faith. We come to be dry like desert. When we connected ourselves to Yeshua the Messiah in prayer, His power and His light shine in us and through us. It shine in our hearts, our minds, our thoughts, in our actions. Without our connection to Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ, and His power in prayer, our prayer are simply just words, fleshly words. I have to tell you that power-filled prayer from our source, Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ, can say to that mountain, be to remove. Through this power we are expand, my brethren. It's a new season for us to shine for the glory of God, to be the light, to be the living example. Oh, hallelujah. 
Whatever you are crying out to Yeshua, Jesus to you, for yourself or holding hands with someone else in need, you can believe that Abba Father hears you and will answer you in miraculous way. That miracle you are waiting for may only be a close us plodging in the King of Glory, Yeshua, Messiah Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Come, we pray right now, this moment together. Dear Abba Father, thank you for your light. You are the light of the world and you give us your light so that the world can see us different. Help us, Lord, to be partakers of your light and share the light with the lost and dying the world. Guide and direct us Ruach HaKodesh, Holy Spirit, to encounter with others where we allow the light to shine brightly, miraculously. There is the nothing impossible for you, Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ. So may your prayers be great big prayer to the great big God Almighty. May we connect with you in your power, in Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Yes, and amen. And the last verse for today, my brethren, Ephesians chapter 5, 14. Awake, you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ Messiah will give you light. Let your light shine before others, that may you see your good deeds and glorify you, Abba Father, in heaven. Matthew chapter 5, 14 to 16. God bless you, my brethren, in miraculous way. Shine for the glory of God. Be the light in the darkness. Be the encouragement. Be the life to others. Some people now, right now, they are maybe in the way to suicide. Maybe some people now are living in depression and loneliness and sadness. But you are the light. You are the blessing. You are the encouragement. You one word of light bring hope and transformation for the hopeless situation. God be with you, my precious. God be encouraged you to you're not alone in this end time battle. With you today, Pastor Danny Rosen, with the word light. In Hebrew, or Chaim, the light of life.